ladies and gentlemen, how you doing today? My name's Billify, and yes, you see it, you saw the title, you see it on your screen. The Surviving Area 51 community that watches me rejoice, I finally made another video, it's been ages. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm sorry. Actually, let me look it up. When was the last time I did make a video on this? Yeah, it was kind of a bit ago. Uh, the Halloween update. <laughs> so it, it was uh, quite a long time ago. Since the release of that, that was the Professor of Thy Bats badge. There's been some other things that have been released. What we're going to be looking at are six new badges here. Bat to the Bone, Blood Filled, Bullet Storm, Stay Back, Steamify, and I Don't Feel So Good. I want to craft them right now. I want to see what these are like. Oh my god, I just... What? What did I break? We're good. We're good. We're good. Nobody panic. We're okay. Oh, it's blackout. Bad time to show this. But is it the same as last one? Yeah, crafting room right here. Okay. Ooh. All right. I'm going to wait for the blackout to stop before I showcase this because I feel like showing this during a blackout is not the best. <laughs> All right. There we go. Oh, look at this crafting room. This is pretty cool. Oh, look. We can see it's got a little description as well as it shows the guns that you are needed to create this. I love the warrior skull look. That looks so cool. The bleeding scythe. Oh, that's a cool model. Nice. The burst storm. Okay. Sick. It looks like a really deadly water gun. <laughs> the steampunk M1 Grand. Yeah, I know about the platinum M1 Grand and the regular. Okay. Okay. The poison generator oh that looks really cool oh this is so cool the hyperion railgun yo they went out for this update yo my surviving area 51 community you gotta love this you gotta love this i mean massive shout out to the crew right now who did this but let's start out with the warrior skull let's go ahead and let's go defeat reaper real quick a little secret for you if you go down this right hallway right at the beginning and you go into this room right here and jump behind here but don't have a skill issue like me. If you get under here and click that, maybe you get something. Maybe you don't. I don't know. Maybe you should experiment on your own and figure it out. <laughs> All right, Reaper Man, let's go. <laughs> You're gonna miss everything, Reaper. Just like life. Yeah! Goodbye, Reaper. Give me thy scythe. Give me thy scythe. Thank you so much. Alright, we have the Reaper scythe now. Let's go see. What do we need next? We need the Spirit O Launcher. Okay, we could go get that real quick. Um, maybe not real quick, but like... We'll try. <laughs> yeah, since we uh, are waiting for the school portal, let's go ahead and let's get ourselves the LXF by defeating the big experiment boss. Which, if you didn't know how to get there, I'll show you right now with this quick little time lapse speed run. The big experiment. It is that easy. Now that we're here, let's go ahead and let's defeat him. Come here, boss man. You are officially Uber. <laughs> I love that boss. Give me thy LXF. Nice. Now, we have ourselves the LXF and the Reaper Scythe. So now, we just need to find ourselves the school portal and get ourselves the Spirit O Launcher. All right. Uh, you know what? I think you might come out, so I'm, you can stay back in there. I won't kill you. Uh-oh, Vanta. All right. Don't take that personally. I didn't need to shoot you. I thought you were... <gasps> I'm reloading! <laughs> Dude, he came out like a spider. Did you see that? That was kind of terrifying. School, 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 school,
I told you that is exactly. <laughs> ah, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we need to find a key. I'll keep my eyes open as well, but I'm, I'm relying on you. Oh, that is the key right here. You don't necessarily have to find the locked door. You could just look inside and see if you see the little portal for the actual gun itself, which I think is over here. If I remember correctly, yep. So if we unlock this door, we could walk in here and then we get ourselves the Spirito Launcher! Let's go ahead and let's make ourselves this brand new weapon. We've got, let me do the, uh, the old classic, the Spirito Launcher, the Reaper Scythe, and the LXF, combining them together to get ourselves the Warrior Skull! Whoa. Whoa, this thing looks like it packs a punch, dude! <laughs> Look how heavy it sounds when it shoots. Yo, that's sick. What? What? The reload! Oh, it looks back at you? <laughs> That's so cool! The fact that you shake it and it looks back at you like, Alright, I'm ready again, let's go. <laughs> We're gonna be using the Warrior Skull to obtain this brand new Bleeding Scythe. So we need to go fight the 005 boss again, we need to go fight Reaper again, and we also need to go fight Mr. Pumpkin Man. Whoa! That dude just came out of the, out of the green there. <laughs> he was hiding behind that lab zombie. Oh my gosh. This makes Reaper look insane. Reaper, I just need like three more shots on you. Come on. Yeah. Oh, dude, that is so cool. I love seeing Reaper with all that extra green on him. It just makes him look so cool. All right, so we got the Reaper Scythe. Jack, Jack with a Jack, with a Jack, Jack, with a Jack, Jack with a Mac. All right, we just got Jack. I was going a little crazy. Um, <laughs> don't mind what I was saying. It was pure nothingness. So some smart goober, I'm not gonna name names. Some smart goober decided to stop recording for a certain period of time. And in that period of time, he may have or may have not collected the scythe and then collected two parts to the next gun. All while not recording. I'm not saying the person's name, but I'm gonna go back right now, post first video and record it. So it's gonna look a little different, but we're, we're gonna deal with it, right? <laughs> All right, and then we're jumping over to our 005 kill. Totally right after the fact normal video. This is definitely not post video. And then we get our LXF. Yeah, that's the three pieces that we need for this combo. Let's go get our three piece combo meal because we got ourselves the LXF. We have ourselves the Reaper Scythe and we also have ourselves the Sheriff's Revolver. Combining them together gives us the Bleeding Scythe. Oh yeah, this is amazing. I love the way this looks. I'm so sad that this isn't my first reaction to this because I'm not as hype when I first got this this was I was so hyped for this I was like oh this is sick I love how it sounds I love the drip effect if anybody's ever asking if your fits are clean you could always put this on and be like yeah I'm drippy <laughs> okay that was a terrible joke I'm sorry and I love the way that this weapon looks this is probably my favorite weapon just because of how well it matches my outfit <laughs> alrighty the next gun that we're gonna get is gonna be the burst storm rifle we need to get the m16 which is easy it's from the shop we need to go kill the jack-o-lantern again and we also need to get the L LXW, which I haven't shown in this game yet on my channel, but it has been here. I love the LXW zone. I'm glad it's back in here. So let's go get these real quick. All right, so up at the spawn up here, if we walk right into the shop, the fourth weapon, I'm sorry, not the fourth, the fifth weapon is going to be this M16. Just go ahead and grab that and keep that in your inventory. Now we're going to head all the way over into the robot zone, and we're going to head to the left. This is the OG path to the LXW zone. So if you remember from the original, it's the same exact route. So you go in, take the left, go down the robot zone, head all the way down this hallway. Once you get here, take the left, of course. You don't need to go through this door, just take the right. But keep going down all the way through this hallway, and then just go right into here. You got yourself the LXW zone. Note, this does take away your weapons, and when you complete it, it also only gives you one weapon in your inventory. If you reset, all your weapons come back, so don't be scared about doing this zone. But once you're in here, we have the LXW zone. Now, I think that we can complete two at the beginning here. Let's see. Can we get three? Can we go for three? Nope. Okay, just two. But look at them. Look at them. Oh, they died before they even got here. Usually they uh, have all the parts that get laid across the uh, ground. <laughs> Can you go for three? No, definitely not. Uh-oh, they're starting to get split up. This was the worst case scenario for a lot of things. When the MIS bots get split up, you start to get in trouble. I remember all the hardcore runs. Hello, 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 hello. Ah, uh, yeah, nice. All right, now we have ourselves the LXW. And this is where I send you back in time. Ready, set? All right, I don't know where I stopped recording. Hmm, yeah, I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I showed the LXW. I really did. If I didn't, ugh, pain. Yeah, good one, bud. <laughs> I did. I, I really do think I did, though. Well, I really, really don't think you did. <laughs> Let's go kill Jack real quick. Can you make it through, Jack? Oh, you can. Too bad you can't make it through here. <gasps> you can! Ah! Goodbye. <laughs> you tried to get me, but it ain't gonna work. <gasps> you can! <laughs> get back here, I'll go by. Got him. All right, so we have ourselves 
Cover Storm, which requires us to have the M16, the Sheriff's Revolver, and the LXW. Combining these together, we get ourselves the Burst Storm. Oh. So it's like it shoots like the LXW and has the burst like M16. That's so cool. Oh yeah. Let's go get ourselves the Hyperion Railgun next. It's going to be a little bit difficult trying to get the Zapper Nova solo, but we got this. We always got this. Where there's a will, there's a way. You know what I mean? We can go get the LX1 from the shop. We can go fight the boss and then we can go get this Stygian or Stygian. I don't know how to completely say this correctly. And we can go into the Dark Zone to get that. Let's grab our first gun right here. The LX1. Nice. We are one third of the way there, ladies and gentlemen. Huzzah! Now if you check over here, we can see that the Stygian Blaster, Stygian Blaster, is found in like this, which is the Dark Zone near Metro. And then the other gun that we do need is this Zapper Nova here, which can be found by defeating the Orthodon boss, which is found past the robot zone to the left. Let's go get the Stygian. Stygian? Stygian? Abyss. I'm just gonna call it the Abyss, you know? Abyss remaster coming soon. Since the Abyss is very boring and easy currently, we're gonna go remaster the whole place. Ooh! That's pretty cool! We jumped into that. Not good. That Cooper there. That Cooper there is deadly. And especially stepping on the little death pads. That's deadly. Uh oh. <sighs> ouch. 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 Get pranked. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Enough Cooper around. I was throwing bananas at him for a long <gasps> I forgot. <laughs> Let's go over here. <laughs> We got ourselves the Stygian Blaster after Memon. All right, Orthodon, let's run it up, brother. If you don't know how to get to Orthodon, let me show you real quick. Ah. Orthodon's Arena. Bring it on, Ortho. Cooperhead. Hey, starting off angry, I see. Okay, brother. Okay. Back it up a little bit. Back, back, back it up, brother. Back it up. You are doing too much. You're doing too much. You need to back it up. All right, Ortho. I claim the as oh. dead. <laughs> I almost sold right there at the end. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me the Zapper Nova. Very nice. Now that we have the three weapons that we are going to need for this gun, let's head down over here, and we can see that we have ourselves the LX-1, which was taking a minute to shoot. I thought it wasn't working. The Stygian Blaster, the Zapper Nova. When we combine all these together, we get ourselves the Hyperion Rail Gun. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> This thing probably packs out big punch. Oh, look at that explosion effect. That's sick. All right, can't wait to test this out, but our next gun that we are gonna be getting is gonna be the Poison Generator, which we need another Stygian Blaster, a Reaper Scythe, and an LXD. But let's first start out by getting the LXD. What if we do ground? Splash? It does have splash. So can I get both of these in one? Yeah, Oh, sick. Ooh, 7,000 damage. That is insanely cool. Nice. Oh, oh, I forgot. Absolutely no scam, no troll. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. If you go over to this computer and type in what you want, it'll be the next portal. So if I go over here and I type in LXD and then hit the enter button, the next portal that happens will be the LXD portal. No scam. T totally not trolling you. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Am I right? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Watch right now. I will show you right now that it is not the uh, <laughs> TE scam. It opens up the portal to the LXD zone. Exactly like I said. I'm, to I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, let's grab ourselves the LXD here. Very nice. All right. Hey, wait for me. Owie. Kablamo. <laughs> oh, you guys grouped up right there? Not anymore. <laughs> All right, so now that we have ourselves the LXD, we have two more components that we need to get. We just need to go get another blaster and a Reaper Scythe. We're fine, and then let's go right through the ground, and let's go grab ourselves the blaster that we need. Yoink. Nice. All right. I was going to start throwing bananas, but I didn't even need to. Now we just need to go get the Reaper Scythe. You going to spawn in your minions? Well, guess what? They'll die with you. <laughs> Yeah, all right. That is our last piece that we need for this brand new poison gun. Let's go ahead and let's go get that. We have ourselves the LXDs right here. We have ourselves the blaster. We have ourselves the Reaper Scythe. When we combine all three of these weapons right here, we get ourselves the poison generator. Ooh, look at that. Oh, is it burst? Yeah, okay, it's like the M16 burst, but a little bit slower. 
That's a cool sound. So we'll be using this poison gun to get this brand new steampunk M1 Grand. So we have to get the Staff of Steam, the M1 Grand, and the Platinum M1 Grand. Okay, we could do that. If we drop down here, we can see that the Platinum M1 Grand is found in Unknown. Don't worry, I know exactly where it's at. We also need to get the Staff of Steam and also the regular Platinum, or not the Platinum, <laughs> the regular Grand. Get destroyed. I love this little effect that this has. How did Sally get out? Sally, how did you get out? That's right. Yeah, I caught you. No punishment right now, but I I, I saw it. <laughs> She's like, you ain't seen nothing. Oh god, 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 homie. Come here. Come here. Yeah. You ain't gonna surprise me this time. Let's close you. For the next time. Alright, so this is the path that you're supposed to take. You're supposed to get into the cog area. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Get away from me, cog skeletons. There's more over here. Yeah, alright, alright, alright. Walk right into this, and it should be a drop. Once you're in here, there's a little parkour that you have to do. Alright, so once you get into this little cog spinning area, make sure you jump on this little platform. Jump right here, and I don't know if you can see it, I'll shoot down here is where you're going to get yourself the platinum rifle. So just hop over here, hop right here, and then you just have to fall. I recommend probably take your sprint off, just fall right down on top of it, and you get yourself the platinum one grand. Pretty neat indeed. Alright, let's head back there. To the left over there is the medkit, but we're not going for the medkit, are we? Rear cock head mini bus. Ouch. Crowd control wise. How much health do you have left? Oh, Coghead is defeated. Let's go! <sighs> Alright, that is how you get yourself the staff. Look at that. Alright, so now that we have ourselves the staff and the platinum and one grand, we need to go visit ourselves a shop real quick to get the regular grand. Alright, let's go. Hold on, let me make sure we close off Jack before he escapes and becomes a mad maniac. Alright, once you destroy everything in this room, optional, uh, go over to this pipe that is right here, and then in here leads you to a whole new area. This little, uh, secret zone back here leads you to a really cool little shop. Get away from me! Yeah, we have Dwell's Weaponry. Hey there, Mr. Dweller. Can I get a large order of fries and, uh, let me get a... Alright, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me just go back there and get it myself. We go over here and there's an M1 Grand right here for 20,000. And that is all you need for it. Also, this is where you can find the dual LX1, the LX4, the LX5, the grenade launcher, and the M60. Thank you so much, Mr. Dweller. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here, though. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you so much. He's so nice. Look at that. Waving goodbye to me. What a considerate human. Or dweller. I don't know about human. We have the platinum M1 Grand. We have ourselves the Staff of Steam. And we have ourselves the regular M1 Grand. Grand. Combining all these together, we get ourselves the Steampunk M1 Grand. Love the design on that. Ping! <laughs> 24 rounds in it, very nice. And if we go to our test dummy over here, we have one that is at 999500. And we do our shot. Ooh, okay. Each bullet does about 685 damage. But ladies and gentlemen, that is all six of the brand new badge guns in Surviving Area 51, the remake. Shout out to the devs on this. Y'all killed it. Y'all absolutely killed it. Each one of these weapons is so cool. But yeah, this update is absolutely amazing. I love what the devs have done with this. I love that they have taken this game and brought it to a whole new light and made it something insanely cool. Major shout out to all of them. They have done an amazing job with this. At least try this game. At least try this update. I I should say if you haven't played this game before it's a lot different than slap battles i know that's what i usually play but it's definitely worth the play if you're into like scary-ish games or you know like the throwback survive games it's worth the play heavily but other than that ladies and gentlemen i hope that every single one of you have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever you do end up watching this and i shall see you in the next one later